Now let's cover the non-inverting topology. You'll see here there, that the only difference between the inverting and the non-inverting is the placement of the power supply. Now we have the voltage applied to V plus. And this will change the gain equation because now V minus isn't held at zero volts. So we still make the assumption that V plus is equal to V minus, which means that V minus is whatever we set V1 to. The gain is still going to be the output divided by the input. So let's take a look at the feedback, derive the gain equation, and verify that with the simulation. So here, uh, the direction of the current is different from the equation that we used in the inverting case. We know that potential flows, or that current flows from high to low potential. This is grounded, so the current is going to flow in this direction. So we can say I1 I1 is equal to V minus minus 0, which is V minus, divided by R1. And here we know that V out uh, is going to be positive and that it's going to be the difference between these two multiplied by some gain. So it's safe to assume that V out is going to be greater than whatever the node voltage is seen here. So we have that the current is going to be flowing from the V out node into the V minus node. So I2 is going to be V out minus V minus divided by R2. If I2 is equal to V out minus V minus divided by R2. And here we know that um, currents going into the node are equal to the currents coming out of the node. So that means that I1 equals I2 directly because we've already set up the direction of the currents correctly. So if we set these two equal to each other, we'll have V minus, and we can go ahead and make that substitution as well. V minus is V1, so let's just go ahead and replace it with V1, divided by R1 is equal to V out minus V1, divided by R2. And we want to get this equation in terms of V out over V1. So to do that, we'll multiply both sides by R2. And then what we'll get is we will have V out minus V1 is equal to R2 times V1 divided by R1 plus V1. Then we can factor out V1. And finally we will get, uh, that's after we, so if we add V1 to both sides, we'll have plus V1. So, sorry, I was getting a little bit ahead of myself there. So we'll have V out minus V1 is equal to R2 times V1 divided by R1. And then here we'll add V1 to both sides. We'll factor out V1 and then divide both sides by V1. So we'll get V out over V1 is equal to 1 plus R2 over R1. All right, and there's our gain. And 
Uh, so yeah, we've got a slight difference when number one is positive, and then we've got this plus one term here. So now let's sim it. Let's put this at, well, I'll leave it at 5K. Let's put this at five volts and see what happens. One milli. And we're getting 15, positive 15 volts. So let's see if that makes sense. Um, actually, it doesn't, that's just the output. What we really wanna look at is the gain which is going to be V out divided by V of V1. I need to make sure, I need to know what this node is called here. Okay, so it's node 2. So I'm going to go to V of V out, divide it by V node 2, and then I'll delete this trace here and we're getting a gain of three so that makes a little bit more sense and we'll see why so here we're showing that V out over V in is equal to three volts per volt so we have that R2 is equal to 5k and R1 is equal to 2.5k So 1 plus 5k divided by 2.5k is 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. So that's exactly what we were expecting. And that's it for the non-inverting topology.